afternoon, everyone. I'm Quincy Morgan. I'm the maintainer of the ID editor for OpenStreetMap. Uh, it's my privilege to be working on the editor full time and uh, just really pushing it forward. So I want to cover what we did this year. Uh, if you're not aware, ID is the default editor for OpenStreetMap if you go on the website. And so most new mappers use it and it's the most used editor in terms of number of mappers every year. It, this year it's been integrated into the humanitarian task manager, which is really exciting. Um, so be sure to check that out. Uh, first big feature is multi selection editing. So if you hold down shift and click on um, a bunch of stuff, then you'll create a multi selection and now you're able, able to use the inspector at the same time to edit the tags on all the features and the field values. So if a lot of road segments have all the same speed limit, you can add that at all the same time. Uh, you can use a lot of the operations like squaring everything at once. You can even add everything to a relation at the same time. Really big time savings. Similarly, um, another time savings is adding bridges and tunnels to crossing features with a single click. Uh, it's a new validation tool I've added. And another validation tool is integration with Osmos, which is a editor or it's a service that looks at all the OpenStreetMap data and finds issues with it on a server. And now you can view those issues and resolve them directly within ID. Um, uh, in terms of street level photos, uh, Mapillary looks at all their photos with machine learning and detects objects. And now you can view those objects directly within ID. Maybe there's a missing crosswalk, a missing road sign. Um, it's a big time savings. Also, uh, you can now filter every uh, photo provider by the who took the photos and the dates they were taken. Um, so if there's just a, too many photos on the map at once, you can filter them down to exactly what you're looking for. You can look at all the changes that you've made, uh, be highlighted on the map by pressing the G shortcut. You can scale features up and down um, in terms of size with shift uh, and the plus or minus keys on the keyboard. You can uh, look at, uh, have the feature that you have selected visible at any zoom level. So if you have an enormous feature like a sea, a lake, uh, a whole city, you can uh, look at it all at once, get the big picture. You can drag and drop field values in multi uh, value fields. You can um, use WMS imagery endpoints as custom imagery layers, uh, if, you, if you have some of those. And another big initiative that, we're, that I've been pushing this year is accessibility. So we've been documenting all the things that ID's good at, all the things ID's bad at in terms of serving people with different needs, different technical setups, and uh, really looking to fill in the gaps to foster the next generation of mappers that haven't been served yet. Um, so one example is navigating with a keyboard. Some people can't use a mouse. Uh, so if you can get it everywhere on the app using a keyboard, you, you're able to edit. Um, uh, vision accessibility feature is to zoom all the text at once. Uh, and ID now correctly scales to this use case. And a localization feature is you can set multiple languages that you want to prefer besides English and ID will try to use those instead of just uh, showing all the UI in English if things aren't translated. And that's really all we did this year. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's so much more. Uh, so check out the change logs. But the biggest thing we did was touchscreen support, which is something we've wanted for ID since the beginning. Um, and finally, you can use your tablet, you can use a stylus if you have it. Uh, but of course, you can also use your hands, you can select the data by just tapping on it. And it's a really amazing way to, to map. And of course, this takes ID mobile as well. We have all the gestures you'd expect from mobile uh, touchscreen mapping, pinch to zoom, things like that. You can long press on features to open the uh, edit menu and use all these operations that you would expect. Lots of uh, shout outs I want to make to, of course, all the ID mappers, the OpenStreetMap Foundation for supporting the uh, project and everybody in between. If you want to get involved, you can go to our GitHub page and uh, open issues, contribute code. We really need a lot of translators for all these languages that we want to support. And uh, we have weekly public meetings. If you don't want to type, just can come up and talk. Uh, there's some side projects like the name suggestion index which links brands on OpenStreetMap to Wikidata. Also, if you just want to design some icons, we have a place you can do that as well. Uh, thanks so much. I've been Quincy Morgan, uh, and you can always reach out to me.